All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We're back at it with another FSD beta video for 11.4.2. Going to drive to another real estate property. i uh, just use that as the example, someplace we've never been before, seeing if the car can take us there without incident. Okay, slowing down. This is the unprotected left that we typically take, coming almost to a complete stop. I'm gonna give us some accelerator here. Seems a little less confident there. I'll go ahead and flag that as well. This is basically just taking our unprotected left situation in reverse. Here are our winding roads, winding uh, roads that we typically take on our test path one in reverse and just seeing how it does. Good control around the turn. Good speed. I'm gonna bump down just a little bit, just cause it's a 25 puts on a turn signal and comes almost to a complete stop. Not good. I'm going to give it some accelerator and flag it. Okay. So not the best start here, but it's, it's the real world. It's the real conditions. All right. <clears throat> the intersection that we typically make our left, our second right at, it's pretty blind on the left. Uh, it's going to creep up a little bit. It's going to need to get over. It's getting far out there and going pretty uh -oh, hesitant, hesitant, then goes. So still that little bit of hesitation in the intersections. Don't like that. Flagging that again. Flagging that again, just because that's not the right behavior. It has to get out there. Car was coming on this lane and it basically just sort of hesitated in the middle of the lane uh, before it made the turn. Uh, Stage itself properly to get out there stage itself and timed it right for the car that was just passing but needed to just jump right out there and go after that a little bit of hesitation in anticipation of what that car is trying to do perceptive slowdown let's just see congrats to everybody who's got 11.4.2 i see it's going wider and getting expanded to the more people if you got it let us know your experiences in the comment and also let us know your location, that's critical. Uh, where you are, what kind of car you drive, even sometimes uh, takes you know a big factor into how it performs. It should perform the same on all cars, all builds. However, we see that it definitely performs differently in different locations. And the builds may have something to do with that. Hesitant, sort of giving this person the right of way. I'm gonna override with the accelerator just because I don't, I didn't wanna let that person go. So that was just me being honest uh, and letting you know that I'm pressing the accelerator versus just thinking it's doing its own thing. Definitely want to call those out. Don't want to, you know, let the system fool people as to its capabilities. Good job. Tight quarters here. Blind turn. We don't know it's on the other side of this. Good control and good job coming to a slowdown here. Great job so far with this little area. This is a tight area. Lots of pedestrians crossing the street. Lots of cars coming in through tight quarters. So pretty good job there. Good job taking the turn. Uh, and just because of the road, I'm going to force this lane change here to get into the left lane just because the road is a little bit odd with the, uh, you know, drainage and all that good stuff there. This is the smoother part of the road. Interesting behavior when the that part of the road that was just repaved. Nice winding road here. Oh, a little bit, a little bit overreaction there. The first I've seen in a while. Not terrible. Taking this at a good speed. But I noticed the part of the road that's paved where the lines go away, it kind of wants to center itself a little bit. I feel that behavior happening. Here's our problematic median where it kind of thinks about it and doesn't do it. Uh, still an issue. I will flag that. Um, just still an issue. It's reacting to something that it shouldn't be reacting to. 
or tr attempting to react, I should say. It didn't actually do it. Good job holding this turn here nice and smooth. Good job slowing down, letting it that car get past, and then accelerating back for back again. That's the way it needs to do it. Doesn't need to come to a complete stop and overreact. Here, people tend to drive close to this yellow line, so I'm interested to see what kind of overreaction we're going to see, if any. And then we have to make a uh, left turn, double left turn in terms of double lanes turning left. It needs to be in the rightmost lane to make the left. Good decision making, good lane selection here versus going here, which is technically you can get there faster. If you drive manually, you can get there faster and then cut over once you make the turn, but it's not doing that right now. Let's see what happens. Thought about it. See that? Thought about it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, while we're at this slide, I'll just make this quick blurb. One of the things that I always harp on um, that would make FSD beta more usable and more, you know, make, make people want to adopt it more is just the predictability of it. It needs to do the same things over and over again consistently in order for people to have trust in it. If I knew that I maybe took this route to work every day and it's going to come to this, this lane, stay in this lane, make the left turn and then get on the highway every single time, I'd have confidence in it. But if it does what it just did just now, where it sort of thought about getting into the left lane and then sort of turn back, that's not giving me confidence. So it just needs to do this, the things that it knows it needs to do over and over again. We've taken this route many different times on certain drives. So it should just know that it needs to take this left and just go in this lane and not get in any other lane but the lane that it's in. And that's kind of the fundamental problem right now that kind of gives people cause to pause. Both lanes are going to be turning. See what happens. I'll let it go. Good control. Good job. Good job on that one. Didn't freak out because other cars were behind us or next to us making the same turn. Did a great job there. Let's see what's ha what happens here. I know someone's going to try to jump in front of us. And there we go. I'm like a psychic on here. This car is getting way too close. <clears throat> Good job staying composed, though. Nice and smooth on the entry. These cars help stage it properly with the right speed. Yielding. No cars, all clear. And we go. Here comes the merge. It's going to wait to the very last minute. Cars are coming in hot. Let's see what happens. This person's driving way too slow. Way too slow. Look at that. No signal on our part. And that person was going way too slow to try to make that. I'm going to bump up a little bit to help it. But yeah, it still has issues there. I'll flag that too. That person was reckless because he drove too fast. But at the end of the day, um, the car needs to signal its intent show its intent to other drivers that it intends to merge even though we know we clearly see it's a merge and wait for someone to let them in that's the way that that merge typically works it assumed it just had the right of way so it probably would have just reacted at the last minute if that if that car was going a little slow or faster or a little slower or whatever the case may be to throw it off or to meet it at the exact point where it needed to merge so some improvements there no big deal uh, no harm, no foul this time, but it could be, you know, harm in someone else's scenario, someone else's location, but a different driver. So definitely something to take note, which is why I flagged it. keep it here because I have this next exit coming 65 is the limit I'll keep it at the limit cars are flying past us which is fine so make sure we get to our exit and do our thing the right way 
exit coming up, slows down, turn signal on, gets over smoothly. The road is rough, but it gets over smooth. Good job. The road was rough and uneven, so it made it feel a little weird, but I knew the car had control, so that was great. Um, I cannot sing the praise of the car enough for how it handles these turns, these exits like this. We in, in this New Jersey, North, Jer not North, uh, North, uh, East area, we have a lot of these sort of jug handle turns and it does a great job holding it, which is leaps and bounds over what it used to do. Comes to a stop, waits for the all clear and it's clear and it goes beautifully. It does a great job holding those turns, by the way, just to reiterate that, I can't say it enough. Give me some confirmation. Gonna bump up to 40 here, just to speed things up a bit. Almost at our destination. Now this is a familiar route because we, we typically go this route. This is our test route to get to the hospital. And we typically take this route. But we're not actually going to the hospital. We're going somewhere else that I've never been before uh, to another property. Check out a friend's property. And um, instead of taking this left, it's actually going to go straight. So let's see what happens here. Good job. Turn signal late, <laughs> but okay. Turn signal is still on. Slows down tremendously because the speed limit changed, which is great. Great job. Even though there wasn't a sign there at least none that I saw, um, it slowed down because it's going into the residential. I'm going to bump up just to 30, just to, again, expedite things. Light pedestrian day. There's still some moderate traffic on the road, but a light pedestrian day. Stopping for stop sign. Would love, would love for them to just make this audible. Tie this into the navigation system, the voice guidance, and let the car announce what it's doing or it intends to do to give me a heads up, creeping way out here. No, all clear all around, now it goes. Good job, it just creeps so far out. We gotta figure out a way to make it better with the creep. Good job getting around, crossing double yellow conditionally, car backing up. What's it gonna do? Good job. Probably could've gave him a little bit more room to make his maneuver, but good job nonetheless. And now we're going to go onto a county road, which I believe this is a county road, which is going to be a little bit high speed. So I'm interested to see how it gets out here. Now it's one way going this way, but it's high speed. So hopefully it can see far enough out to know when to go. Stops well below the limit line. Car is coming. Slows down. Another car is there. It's really getting out there. Wow. And now it goes. Really got out there. Uh, I probably would not have gone that far out. I'm not going to flag that because it did it safely. It made the maneuver. But you got to figure out a way to, to, to see without getting that far into the lane. Because that's really nerve-wracking. That's where FSD beta becomes less useful because I'm so worried and stressed about what it's going to do. Again, teenage driver style. Uh, I'm so concerned what it's going to do that I don't really know. <laughs> I can't feel comfortable and relaxed. Just letting it do its thing. Good job slowing down. Will it go around or will it wait? Other cars will go around us if we don't do it. It's going to wait for it. I'm not mad at that. And now it kind of goes around, tries to go around at the last minute. This is the same behavior it did before. I'm going to actually flag that where it sees a car stopped in the middle of the road, making a turn. It stops behind it, and only when it starts to turn does it try to maneuver around it to go straight. It needs to make the decision to go around the car initially or stop and wait till it clears the lane completely and then go. That's the behavior that it needs to. That's the safer choice. Because what winds up happening is if you wait too long, the timing is such that the car behind us will have already decided to go around us. And that car will be in that lane trying to go around us while we're trying to make a maneuver at the last second with no turn signal on, by the way. And uh, it could be awkward. So definitely not, not the best, not the best decision. So in terms of decision making, I was, that was a ding on that one. Bump up to 40. 
I'll set an offset next one just so I have that offset there. But I tend to try to keep it at the limit as much as possible, especially if it's places that I've never been before. Little overreaction, little over the line. See that car right there reacting as well, so not good. So the truck and kind of wanted to stay away from that yellow line. I understand that, but it cannot go over the line when there's somebody in my blind spot there, someone in this area that could be impacted. We've got the turn for green on left. Let's do it. Cuts it a little bit short, but I'm okay. Good job. Don't know where we're going, but I'm gonna bump up to 30 just in case. Doesn't look like we're far away or far off from the property. Speed bumps, let's see what happens. Did not slow down or adhere to speed bumps. Still doesn't do it. I'll try again. I'll keep it at 25 and see what happens. Okay, now it's slowing down a little bit. There we go. So 25 to 17, that's good. Now we're slowing down. To 17, good job. It's supposed to go to 15, but okay. That's good. So, the, so I think what, what winds up happening is that it's the initial speed bump that it's either not seeing or recognizing that make it not work. And then the ones after what well, afterwards, the subsequent ones, it, it works. So see this one? It's not seeing that one. So it didn't slow down in time. So it tried to slow down at the last minute. Now it's okay because I'm going 25 now. Before I was going 30 and it just was not trying to slow down. So definitely something is up there that needs to be addressed. And from the visualization standpoint, we don't see it. And therefore, you know, we can't... <laughs> We have no indication that it's actually there from the visual, or that the car can actually see it just based on the visuals. Be in the right lane here. See it thinking. We do have the green light here. Let's see. Property is coming up. Should be a street that we need to turn down. Is it a new street? Does it know it's there? Does it know how to react? It's slowing down. Turn signal at the last minute. Not the greatest. And we are here. Comes to a complete stop. All right. Good job. Um, for the most part, definitely decision making has some issues um, and definitely, you know, some of the thinking out loud that it did also had some issues. But uh, overall, I think it was a, a solid drive um, in terms of comfort. I was pretty comfortable overall, not the most comfortable just because I was in the middle of that intersection. So I give it a seven out of ten in terms of um, safety. Felt pretty safe. But again, that that one where I was out there in the lane kind of threw me for a loop. So I'd say that's about a six out of 10 on that one, just cause I felt a little uneasy there. Uh, and in terms of decision-making, obviously it made some mistakes. I want to give it a seven out of 10 and then confidence, uh, showed a lot of confidence, but it also showed a little bit of not so much confidence when it came down to certain maneuvers. So I'm also going to give that a seven out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you thought about this drive. Um, and let me know if you got 11.4.2 yet and what your experience is like until the next time enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.